One man has been hospitalized and a house went up in flames after a standoff with Scranton police. 2822's Kat O'Leary is live in Scranton with the latest on the tent situation. Kat, what can you tell us? Kelly, good afternoon. Uh, the, it's the house behind me here. Now, the intense smoke has calmed down a little bit, but fire crews are still on scene. Uh, the suspect is Michael Scott Warmoth, and he's currently at the hospital right now with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Police said he's likely in critical condition, and this all stemmed from a domestic incident. The female victim was able to escape the building to a nearby neighbor. The police were called, and once they arrived, that's when the shots were heard. Now, Warmoth fired multiple rounds inside the building. Scranton police did not fire any. Police say he was making various threats and barricading himself in the building. They were trying to negotiate to get him out and this was a two-hour standoff and during the two-hour standoff the situation the situation then escalated and turned into a fire. Police say Warmoth lit the building on fire and eventually came out of the building but with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Now the female victim is also at the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries but she is there. No, no one was shot from the gun besides uh, Warmoth himself with that self-inflicted gunshot wound. Now, police have also confirmed that this uh, building is an apartment complex, has multiple apartments in there. It's unclear exactly how many, but they do have a warrant, and once the uh, fire crew here is done, they are going to go in and assess and continue an investigation because this is an ongoing investigation. Now, we will have uh, more information as it becomes available, and when we get it, we will bring it to you guys both on air and online at PA homepage.com. For now, reporting live in Scranton, Catherine O'Leary, 2822 News. Kelly, back to you. All right.